Bike safety advocates, though, want to make sure that everyone stays safe. This especially after those three cyclists were hurt in hit and run crashes just this past weekend. One witness spoke to Nine News reporter Donald Brennan about what he saw and the trend that he has noticed after decades of cycling in Colorado. For a guy who's been cycling 50 years, I've ridden 200,000 miles. Bike to work day is just a typical Wednesday. It's nice to see. But Bob Shaver is glad so many share his passion at least one day a year. Yes, it's great to see uh, people out on the road. I, and hopefully they will, despite all the accidents that have happened in the past 10 days, um, keep it up. Even a rider with decades of experience was rattled by what he saw on Saturday. So 50 yards behind us. On West 32nd Avenue near Maple Grove Park. And I was about to pull out on the road uh, and I heard this big bang, like a gunshot. I looked down the road again and there was a cyclist not moving in the middle of the road. The driver who hit the cyclist sped off. And it's heartbreaking. The driver who hit the cyclist sped off like another driver did Sunday after intentionally crashing into two cyclists on US 40 between I-70 and Evergreen Parkway. These two that were hit were like me. They are serious cyclists, long-time cyclists, lifelong. They know to ride to the right because they know the 4,000-pound car is uh, going to win over that. Bob has seen too many cyclists hurt. It's a problem. And too many drivers distracted in a hurry or worse. Yeah angry motorists. He worries some drivers don't think of the person on a bike. We represent everybody. And he pictures a day when we can all share the road peacefully. Noel Brennan, Nine News.